As نعم. for the fundamental pillars of salah, so there are 14 pillars of salah. Now, a person has to be precise in his learning and his knowledge. And so if a person understands knowledge precisely in his mind, then when he speaks with it, it will be precise. But if a person has understood knowledge, but it is chaotic, then similarly when he speaks with it, it, with it, it will be like that. The brother, Jazahullah Khair, he mentioned the arkan of salah are 14. And he mentioned them in order. As for a person saying, the arkan of salah, they are about maybe, and the first of them is the last tashahud, and this shows that he has not understood knowledge. So the first fundamental pillar of salah is standing up if you are able to do so. And this is for the fard prayer. As for the nafal salah, a person is allowed to pray and he is sitting. However, his reward for sitting, praying sitting is half of standing. And if he prays his salah lying down, then it is a quarter of the reward of standing up. No. And then the first takbirah, which is known as takbiratul ihram. And the intended meaning of takbiratul ihram is the statement Allahu Akbar, not the action of raising the hands. Because the action of the raising of the hands, this is an obligation, wajib. And the next pillar of salah is the recitation of Surah Al-Fatiha. And Surah Al-Fatiha has to be recited in the silent salah and the loud salah whether a person is resident or whether a person is traveling in every single rak'ah of the salah. And there is one situation in which the obligation of Surah Al-Fatiha does not apply. And that situation is if a person comes late for the congregation and he catches the imam making ruku and then he joins in with the ruku of the imam. In that situation, the obligation of the Fatiha no longer applies and this is due to the statement of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. And then also the Ruku' and then standing up after the Ruku' and the meaning of Al-I'tidal is that a person, he stands up completely after the Ruku' and then his bones are settled in that position and then making sujood on seven limbs and that is the forehead and the nose as one limb and then the palms of the two hands the two knees and also the bottom of the toes. So which sujood is the rukan? Is it the first or the second? And also sitting up after the ruku, after the sujood. So these are two separate pillars. One is rising up from the sujood and then sitting between the two prostrations. Tamam. And then the next pillar is a person being calm and tranquil in every action of the salah. How do we know what is tama'nina? So you know when you have tama'nina in salah, if you are able to say the dhikr or the legislated saying in that part of the salah. For example, if you go into sujood and you can clearly say subhana rabbi al-a'la and then you get up, then in the majority of cases, this is at tamanina As for a person rushing the salah, Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar, this diminishes at tamanina And the prayer is invalid. And the next pillar, the fundamental pillar of salah, is that these pillars have to be performed in sequence, in the correct sequence. Firstly, a person stands up, then he makes takbir, and then he says Surah Al-Fatiha, and like this. And then the final tashahud, this is also a pillar of the salah. Of course, the final tashahud, tashahud applies when there are two tashahud in the salah. And therefore, the final one is the pillar. If it's Salat al-Fajr, where there's only one tashahud, then that is the pillar. Meaning, the tashahud before the taslim, this is from the pillars of our salah. And then the next pillar of the salah is sitting down for the tashahud. Because perhaps a person will say the tashahud and he's standing up. And he says, I fulfilled the pillar. So therefore it has to be said while he is sitting down and therefore that's the next pillar of salah. And then also sending salutations upon the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. If it is in the last rak'ah, then it is a rukan. And if it is in the second rak'ah or four rak'at, then it remains something which is encouraged. And then the final uh, pillar of the salah are the two taslims to the right and the left. Okay.